We're not your average band of builders. Better already. I'm Deke Dedrickson, and my team and I dream up wicked builds that we funk out with salvage materials. This is my carpenter and big little brother, Dustin. Redneck ruler. Chippies are all around get it done guy. I just found M80 in a paint can, save some time. And human wrecking ball max damage completes our motley crew. We're the guys you call when you want to build outside the lines. Today, I'm 15 miles south of Boston in the tucked away town of Stoughton, Massachusetts to meet with our client, third generation townie, Paul Daniels. Paul's wife is going to trash his drums if he doesn't find a new place to rock out for the end of this weekend. Two days we got? That's it, brother. What kind of budget are we dealing with here? Top end for me is about 500 notes. A two day timeline and $500 materials budget might sound impossible, but with some creativity and a little elbow grease, we're gonna take Paul's neglected shed and revamp it into a wicked drum den. All right, so check out the shed. I do think it's gonna work. I mean, in the plus category, we don't have to really build anything. The structure's already there. We can rehab it, if you will. In the other category, there's dead mice in there. It smells like vomit, and there's no natural light in there. But we shall fix that. Look yep. alive, look alive, ye scallywags. Working, working. I got a gig for us. Um, this guy wants to take a shed and make it into a rock room. Uh, brace yourselves. Two days to do it. Come on, man. Let's actually start picking for some stuff, maybe some decorative items we can find around here to put in there afterwards as well. Now when rummaging for any goods in a salvage yard, one thing you want to make sure you do have, gloves. You know, I keep coming back to this heater, I just love the color of it. Perfection heaters like this one have been around since 1913. Once broken and invented, these oil heaters produce efficient odor-free heating and they look pretty cool too. Hey Dick. Hey Ralph, hey, thanks for letting us poke around here. This is the one I was talking about. It just spoke to me something about the color. Is this something you actually would be willing to part with? Yeah, I'd take right. $20 for it. You're the best. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy it. Vintage perfection heaters can go from $100 to $150. A good example of how local salvage yards are a great place to look for hidden treasures on the cheap. We're going to flood Paul's jam shack by popping in a skylight. First, we have to find one. So while Shippy begins the hunt, the rest of us do the dirty work of clearing out Paul's old shit. What the heck is Shippy, man? This is ridiculous. Shippy always finds a way out of a hard project. He's a no guts, all glory kind of guy. You're not always gonna find that perfect piece. So you can drive around and pull your hair out or scarf on a burger and wait until something pops up. While we anxiously wait for Shippy to return, our client Paul helps me make some shelves from salvaged pallet wood. A safety tip for working with pallet wood, avoid the poisonous ones. When selecting free pallet wood for your projects, one thing you want to look up for in particular, the stamp on these bad boys that says HT. HT stands for heat treated. The ones that say MT, they've been sprayed with fungicide. So you want to stay away from those, especially if you're building an infant crib, let's say. Luckily, we have safe pallets, but we still don't have a skylight. Looks promising. Oh yeah, that's it. Once again, Shippy saves the day and we're ready to finish Paul's rock room. First, we install the skylight, then we paint the rest of the shed, bring in a coffee table we repurpose from an old picnic table, install a shelf we made from a dresser drawer, put in a few unique gems like the old heater from the scrapyard, and of course, Paul's drum kit. By using salvage materials, we shaved $76 off Paul's already ambitious budget of $500 for a total materials cost of 420 volt clams. Not too shabby. I'm actually very happy as to how this came out, and I'm praying that Paul will be pleased as well. Let's go find out. This is awesome. Very nice, the skylight. With just a few foul materials and some imagination, anyone can have a little retreat of their very own. Paul's once neglected shed is now a private drum den. I think that our Deke and his crew really did a great job. We gave Paul a one-of-a-kind rock room, and he got to keep his drums, which it turns out he can't really play. Join us next time as we create one-of-a-kind retreats in unlikely places on Band of Builders.